recently had a comment on my latest camp video from Sarasota. Mm. Okay. And it says, from Lord Nico, it says, please, I hope this isn't taken as criticism. <laughs> I love when it starts like that. But, 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 truly, I am seeking an answer. I have noticed that more amateur cellists, such as myself, tend to have a very tinny sound when playing. <laughs> doesn't sound as quote-unquote professional. Is it finger pressure? Is it bow pressure? Cello quality, all of the above? L-O-L, -L, which we have already done. I had a subscriber show up at my own. Uh, I never met her before, her name was Debbie, and um, she Super nervous around me, so I hope you're not nervous. Are you nervous? No. Okay, you're nervous? No. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> don't be nervous around your cello teacher. Okay, <laughs> just don't be nervous. There's, there's no reason. What do you think that tinny sound is? Do you think it's bow pressure? Do you think it's finger pressure? Do you think it's quality of cello? What do you think of it? I'm going all of the above. All of the above? Yeah. Yeah, I think. Um, Generally. Bow pressure probably has a lot to do with it. Bow pressure? Okay. I also think of pressure, but generally I think all of the above. Generally all of the above. But I mean, if, if, you had a, if you had like a top quality cello as a beginner, then I would say it's bow pressure and finger pressure. Mm -hmm. If you say bow pressure, by, by the way, I put something on here, you probably have noticed. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's very farm good. animals. Now, why do you think I have these farm animals on my bow? Is this a question for us? Yeah. Uh, to provide extra weight. Provide extra weight. Absolutely. Now, uh, the, the question is way possible. <laughs> is, the question at the question has been asked: Is it the strings? Well, we have three cellos here, and all three of them have Larsons. So, is it the cello quality? You have a J Haida, a very nice uh, instrument. I have a Steinberger, and you have a um, rental. A rental. It's a rental. <laughs> so we're going to put our farm animals. We each going to pick our farm animal. Um, which one do you want? The oh, pig, right. the pig, the sheep, or the or the chicken? I go with the sheep. Chicken? Yeah, chicken. Okay, chicken it is. Pig or sheep? You're going to get the pig. Oh my pig. god. And you would take the sheep. I'll take the sheep. <laughs> so we're going to take our farm animals, okay? okay. And um, we're, going to, we're going to hook them at the very end of our bow, like this. Mm -hmm. Now, where do you get these farm animals? These are actually from, uh, you go to any place that sells uh, materials for cooking. Um, and this, you put this on the, um, the edge of your, your pot, and it keeps the lid open. And it's made of the silicone oh, heat stuff, so it yeah. won't melt. Yeah. So, but it won't melt if you keep it over fire. They also clip on really nice on the ends of your bow. Now, to prove this point, we're going to take them off. We have our now we're selected ones. We're going to take them off. And at one point, you each got real super tinny, if you will. And the word we're looking for is strident. It's strident. <laughs> Could you make the strident sound for me? Okay. You do better. Oh, worse? There we go. Notice what you did.
pull your D and as you pull, pull up because this is what commonly happens. People get nervous and you go to pull, pull up. And you hear it. So you go all the way even below the fingerboard as you do it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. And also, now let's see if we can keep the pressure. Now, we asked if it's string. So we're doing tail string quality because all of our cello just did it. Cello quality, it's all the cello just did it. I'm going to say it's definitely bow pressure, yes. Mm. Finger pressure, obviously, but finger pressure is more. That's that's finger pressure. There's no problem. So finger pressure will just get you out of tune and more of a muffled tone. Won't get that strident sound. That, that sort of stuff is more strident. So let's go to the G, the D again. Now put pressure, but as pull up. Yeah, and then go back. pressure on, but keep it in the same place. Very nice. And you heard it, so it goes It has that tone to it. So the question is, the further you get out to your, uh, your tip, do you have to put more or less pressure? More. More. More, right? But how much is too much? And of course, when we're starting out, do it again. Start out, everyone. Too much pressure at the beginning. Right. So if you're starting out, yeah. if you're starting out with too much pressure because you don't want to make that strident sound. Sure. So now I want you to over control. Now we're going to over control and not allow the bow. We're going to be straight, but we're going to be super nervous because we're next to our cello. where your little farm animal here is going to sit nice and equalized, balanced on it. And you notice what the angle of the bow is. Mm. So if you're not holding it up, because again, it's falling over. And now with two fingers, keep it on place, keep it in place. Find the place where the chicken can roost nice and comfortably. Okay. Now I just want you to let the chicken that you're big, that your farm animal do, do the work. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I don't want you to do anything. Keep it straight. I'm going to do it first, you can hear me. I'm going to balance it and use just barely enough, I'm no pressure, because my, my sheep is doing the pressure. And now at this point, I'm just holding it. And here I've used zero pressure. All that the, the force that's been used is this little thing. Corley, would you please try? Why 
why don't you try to use your elbow and then open, I call it opening the door, opening the door. Open the door, open the door. Now notice something how it was nice in present. I call the word present in that, try that. Open. First you went too fast at the end, yeah. and you went too slow at the beginning. Okay, you went too slow at the beginning. This sound is what? Yeah. Too much pressure, too much pressure. Not enough speed. So, and don't over control, I feel you over controlling. It's different with different people. I have a student who's a used to be a rugby player in England, and he's all like, he's all like, he over controls and goes like this all the time. Let the arm weigh in. So I'm gonna hold this. Put, let your arm weigh into like every pin. Weigh into my hand. Weigh into my hand. Relax. 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 Okay. Completely. You know. You don't see that? It's not relaxed. No. It's not. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Go. <laughs> Strident sound? Yeah. Try again. Good. This how it dipped. Control the trajectory as you pull your down bow. At the beginning, just be super light. Maybe you have to hold because your pig is a little heavy there. <laughs> If we took this off and we found how much pressure it takes to keep the sound.
in the bow control. I noticed in fourth position there, it got a little teeny mm -hmm. without the weight on there. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Anything? Oh, um, I did, I had to put the weight on instead of the chicken. <laughs> so, yeah. But but I sort of felt like I knew what weight I had to put on to get the same sound, so it was kind of like it. 